Hello again. Uh, this is the second part of how to turn a picture into a cartoon or anime. I did this air hanging thing and also I made this I did this piercing here in the air and add this clothes. Now like when you just put it all strokes now we start painting. Also I did a little bit of cleaning here. Still there is a lot of Players, as you can see, so now we start with the the, the, the head. So, now we load our selection. I still have these paths in here. So we just load this selection, and we make make a new layer above the strokes path. And make it in multiply. Uh, I did. I uh, have uh, swatches in here for the skin tones. Just choose. I will, I will just choose this one in here. And I will right click. Fill path. Okay. All right. Now let's do the the hair. Again we go to the path in here. Make a new layer. Choose the black. Then fade path. Now it's okay. What we can do is load the selection of the painting here we made. And then we shift control E. No, actually, just delete it. That's it. I will make this one here and here. Have it in here too. Also, we'll fill the path. Okay. We we'll have our painting body now uh, all we're gonna do is like we play with the tones and the highlights so what we're gonna do is we take this picture here and we we'll make it in above everything so we can see it's a bit of cheating I don't like this the car tones I have one from the skin in here. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, this one looks. Looks good. Alright, so let's do a little bit of highlights and tones. Okay. Let's just make everything, make everything in here. And to name the layer so it will be not to be confusing. Now let me just select the shadows. Let's start from here in the chin area. So, mm -hmm, 
Shadow King. Shadow King. Shadow King. Darker in here, you can see it. It's all. Uh, we need to move in again. Now we need to choose a darker tone. And we fill the path. So we reduce the opacity a little bit to see if it's much like us. You can see. Then what we're gonna do is like we we'll make a blur in it. Gaussian blur. So it's a little bit faded to the skin. 1.5 or 6. It's good. Okay. Use the opacity a little bit. 40. Now we we'll, we we'll select the skin here. We we'll press Shift Alt E to switch and we'll delete. It looks good. And also we we'll, this. As you can see, like this air hanging thing, still have the dark tone in it. So, what we're gonna do is we select it too here, and we delete what's in it. Okay, that's good. Now we have a uh, darker area in here so select this one in here okay. so all right make a new layer so, this is the darker color. This one. Fit the path again. And also, we need a. Let's go to the next guy. And blur it. Like so. Okay, it's good. Use the opacity a little bit. Okay. Let's blur it more. It's depend to also depends on the picture you have. I think this looks good. That's good. Now we'll load the selection of the skin. Shift Control again. And delete. Also, we'll load the selection of air hanging. And delete. Okay. Pretty good. I won't like make every everything here because. I'm just trying to do the best I can. I'll try to go a little bit faster. Let's do the this cutting hair. So, we 
choose a gray color. In the path. See, it's a little bit darker. Yes. Just use black yeah. in the path with black. Mm, looks good. It's like that. Use the opacity and let's blur it. Like so, it's good. Thirteen. Okay. Let's go. Okay. We we'll do the the noise the noise in here. Mm -hmm. So Let's 
don't have much. Three point four. Increase the capacity. Just use shadows and shapes as long as you, as much as you use shapes to look better. Result. Now, like you know, the basics to to shadow and the tones. We we'll just continue this and stop the video. See you in there. All right. So, so once you finish with the every shadows, now we add a. Uh, little bit of highlights in the hair and everything so let's add a little bit of highlights in the ears first mm -hmm. let's just show you how it's easy like it's not just need like practice can see there is some highlights in here also so we choose a brighter color Just this. 
by pressing Alt and then press Ctrl and click the space in here now then the feed path okay and blur it Let me reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay, it looks good. There's a little bit of highlights in here. Above eyes. In here. a little bit of highlights on the nose as you can see so and with that Let's make the highlights for the hair. What we're gonna do is that we choose and choose six pixel. Let's see. All right, hundred and hardness. Just make a little bit bigger strokes. Like so. Path. Check simulate cursor. Click OK. And we will highlight the, the hair. Also, we'll highlight this hand in ears. You see, let's make it one pixel. Check simulate pressure. Do it one more. Okay. Here we go. It's Change it to E. Drop that. Okay. Okay. There you go. Now just hide this white background and just merge everything by pressing Shift Control Alt E. Then you could oh, click press Alt and click to this layer. And let's make a nice background. Well, first of all, let's just make it a little bit in the tones. Like we turn it to black and white by pressing Shift Control U, and then we we'll just blur it a little bit. Gaussian blur is true, it's okay. And then we put it in soft light mode. We use the opacity for like 55. Give it a nice tonic 
effect. Then you merge everything again. And let's choose a maze background. Let's give it a gradient overlay. We have this nice. If you want the color, you need the colors. Very good, bright yellow. And then we we'll turn it to radial. We reverse the color. Just we play with the scaling in here like so click ok and now let's add a gradient change everything to black so we make a nice vignette Reverse it again. Again, this game. Like so, let's put it in overlay. And there you go. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment. And have a nice day.